which it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you uh, another first, um, Dame Eleanor Lang, who is Deputy Speaker of the House of Commons. Uh, Eleanor was elected in 1997 and most recently was elected the first woman to hold the post of Chairman of Ways and Means. Uh, Eleanor, we're delighted that you can be with us this morning to welcome us, to confirm that this is a proper, true parliamentary event, and we're very much looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Dame Eleanor Lang. I'm delighted to welcome you this morning to the House of Commons. Well, not quite to the House of Commons, but to this great parliamentary event. It's wonderful that we have this annual opportunity uh, to bring together uh, so many of the movers and shakers in the science and technology community. Um, it's a bit different, isn't it, doing it this way? I am so sorry to miss the opportunity to speak to you all and to mingle with you after you have uh, finished your deliberations today, as we usually do in the Speaker's House. I've always enjoyed these events immen immensely, and uh, I'm extremely grateful to Stephen Benn and Stephen Metcalf, who keep me in touch with all the work that you're doing and make sure that I'm plugged into this too. Um, may I say, before uh, we go any further, that Mr. Speaker also wants to send his very best wishes this morning. Uh, when this event has previously taken place at Westminster, um, his predecessor, Speaker Burko, uh, used to do his very best to drop in and meet some people, and Speaker Hoyle would have loved to have done that. We all know why that can't happen, and we all really look forward uh, to going back to normal and having you here in person where we will have a chance to chat and to catch up with all that you've been doing hopefully next year. Um, we, uh, it's wonderful that this event brings together all the sciences and engineering for what is really the biggest science event that we ever have in our annual parliamentary calendar and in particular I would like to uh, to congratulate the Royal Society of Biology for making today possible especially this year um, it's been very difficult to make the technology work and bring everyone together we all know that now in our everyday lives we depend on sitting in front of this screen instead of talking to people. And boy, do we rely on you, you people who understand science and technology to help us. Um, it's, uh, there has never been a time when the title under which you're operating today, public trust in science, has been more important or more relevant. It really, really is. Nothing could be more appropriate for today. Um, it's, uh, it's such a pity that you're not here, but I know that you will make the best of this and find a way to enjoy each other's company and to exchange ideas in spite of not being in the same room and not being here in Parliament. But we miss you because this is our annual chance uh, to see you and I'm so sorry that it isn't happening like that. Links Day has long been the biggest single science event on the annual parliamentary calendar and for well over 30 years it's played a vital part in helping to bring together Parliament and the science community outside. And strengthening the links between the two is actually vital. I'm sure you all realize that as much as we all realize that. Um, it's terribly important to us that this event is co-sponsored by members from all sides of the house. Um, it's really important 
that you can see the way in which we all work together when there's something important to be achieved. And support for science has to be on an all-party basis. That's what makes our support for you so strong, I hope. Um, several of my parliamentary colleagues are taking part today, and I'm really looking forward to what they have to say. I already mentioned Stephen Metcalf's pivotal role in this organization. We also have Amanda Soloway, Shion Wara, and Greg Clark. Um, the fact is that science needs and deserves support from all political parties. And from the point of view which I observe things sitting in the speaker's chair, there is a great deal of interest in science. And can you blame us if we care even more today about what you say and what you do than we normally do? Because haven't we all, right across the country, had the wake up call that being at the cutting edge of technology in all areas of science is so important. And right now, the amazing work that is being done uh, to develop drugs and systems to combat the coronavirus and the amazing speed with which uh, your colleagues are working on the vaccine uh, really makes us all appreciate all the more what you do. So I just want to say thank you very much. Um, we uh, really, really appreciate uh, that, uh, that around the world this work is being done, but it's British scientists who in many areas are leading the way. And um, I know that you're going to be talking later about the work that's being done, for example, in Oxford. We in the parliamentary and government community would like to say thank you to do. Thank you to all of you for all that you are doing. And on behalf of Mr. Speaker, and on behalf of all the members of parliament, uh, who are involved with uh, your work and your organizations, may I wish you a very good day. And uh, I'm very much look forward uh, to hearing of the conclusions and ideas that come out of the work that you're doing today. And really, I so hope that next year you'll be able to come back again to Speaker's House and that we can really meet and we very much look forward to that. Thank you.